Boys and girls, welcome to another singing time. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. If you've participated in these videos before, welcome back. It's great to see all of you. For our opening song this week, let's sing the one we learned last week, Kindness Begins With Me. At the end of the singing time last week, I issued you a challenge. Do you remember what it was? I challenged each of you to do something kind for someone else. I have a couple examples of things that you did this week to be kind. First, let's hear from Kathy. I am Kathy. I make salad pancakes and do housework. I take care of my dog and buy food for my mom. Thank you, Kathy. That was so great. Mason and Olivia drew a big poster for their grandma's birthday, and they're going to mail it to her. What did you do this week that was kind? I know many of you did do kind things to serve those in your family and in your neighborhood. And I'm so proud of you. Are you all ready to learn a new song this week? The song we're going to learn is called, I Will Walk With Jesus. This song has three verses, but today we're just going to work on the first verse and the chorus. The first verse talks all about Jesus. The words are, Jesus walked in wisdom, Jesus grew in truth. He showed love to God and man while in his youth. Jesus wants to guide me. Jesus shows the way, calling me to come and walk with him each day. Let's listen to that one time with the music and then we'll sing it all together. Now that you've heard the words with the music one time, let's try singing it together. Now we're going to practice the chorus. The chorus is what you sing after every verse. The chorus says, As I walk with Jesus to my home above, He will bless me with His Spirit and fill me with His love. Change my heart forever and help me clearly see I will walk with Jesus and He will walk with me. Let's listen to that one time with the music, and then we'll sing it together, okay? As I walk with Jesus to my home above, He will bless me with His Spirit and fill me with His love. Change my heart forever and help me clearly see I will walk with Jesus and He will walk with me. Ok, 
Okay, now that you've heard the chorus with the music, let's try singing it. As I walk with Jesus to my home above, He will bless me with His Spirit and fill me with His love. Change my heart forever and help me clearly see, I will walk with Jesus and He will walk with me. Now that we've practiced the first verse and the chorus, let's put it all together and try singing it one time through. Jesus walked in wisdom, Jesus grew in truth. He showed love to God and man while in his youth. Jesus wants to guide me. Jesus shows the way, calling me to come and walk with Him each day. As I walk with Jesus to my home above, He will bless me with His Spirit and fill me with His love. Change my heart forever and help me clearly see, I will walk with Jesus. Well done! Remember, you can always rewind this video as many times as you need to to practice the words. Next week, we'll learn the second verse and the third verse. Today, what we're going to talk about is testimony. Since today is the first Sunday of the month, normally we would be having a fast and testimony meeting at church. Do you know what a testimony is? A testimony is a declaration or statement of what you believe or know to be true. When we talk about testimonies in our church, we're usually talking about our Heavenly Father, our Savior Jesus Christ, the Prophet Joseph Smith, that our church has the true restored gospel of Jesus Christ, and that we have a living prophet today who leads and guides us. You may be wondering, how do you get a testimony? Is a testimony something you can buy at the store? Or is it a present you get for your birthday? No, of course not. Let's read in Alma chapter 5, verse 46, to see how Alma gained his testimony. Behold, I say unto you, they are made known unto me by the Holy Spirit of God. Behold, I have fasted and prayed many days that I might know these things of myself. And now I do know of myself that they are true. For the Lord God hath made them manifest unto me by his Holy Spirit, and this is the Holy Spirit of revelation which is in me. So what did Alma do? He said that he fasted and prayed, and that it was the Holy Ghost that confirmed to him those things. We can follow Alma's example to fast and pray, and then the Holy Spirit can witness to us that those things are true. A testimony, though, is a growing thing. Here are some other things that grow. Babies, plants, animals, trees. When you have things that grow, you have to take care of them. You have to nourish them. Plants, you have to feed them with water and sunlight. Babies and animals need to be fed, loved, and cared for by their families. Just like those living things, a testimony needs to be nourished and cared for. So, how do you do that? You read your scriptures. You pray. You attend church. You study the gospel with your family. Doing all of those things can help your testimony to grow. I'd like you to think about something you can do this week to help your testimony grow. Maybe you can make a goal to read the scriptures every single day with your family or by yourself. Maybe you can continue doing kind acts of service for people. Maybe you can listen to music that helps you feel the Spirit. Maybe you can make sure that you say your prayers morning and night. 
Whatever you decide to do, know it will help you strengthen your testimony. Now that you've learned all about testimonies, let's sing the song that we sang a few weeks ago called Testimony. Great singing, you guys. I hope you'll keep practicing all of these songs so that when we do meet together again, we'll be able to sing them together. You can click onto the main page of this YouTube channel to see all of the full lyric videos of all of the songs that we've practiced so far. For our closing song today, I want to sing one of my very favorite primary songs. It's called, I Feel My Savior's Love.
You guys did a great job singing this week. If you want to share something kind that you've done for somebody, have your parents text or email me some photos or a video or a few sentences about what you've done. And maybe it will be included in a future video. I love you guys. See you next time. Thank you.